What's up, world? It's your boss international. So, uh, I'm gonna work on these things called true story. Uh, I, I have a lot of stuff running through my head all the time. I know y'all think that I'm serious all the time, but I'm not. You know, uh, I make jokes. I'm, I'm funny at times and silly at times. So, we're gonna try to work on this series whenever I come. A lot of things happen when I travel, of course. I travel. I have a lot of experiences. So, the things that happen that are true, that I'm going to call true story. Damn, I can't even pull it up. But anyway, I'm going to try to do it off of memory because I can't pull it up. It's on my phone and I'm recording with my phone. So, y'all know me. I'm a Tinder guy. I use Tinder. A lot. I use Tinder before I go to any country. Why do I use Tinder? First of all, let me clear up a misnomer. If you have that. Some people are like, oh, you traveling for girls. First of all, I travel because I enjoy traveling and I want to see the world. Now, when I go to a country, yes, I want to sample all the tourist attractions. If you really watch my channel, you'll see that. You might not see that in the country that I go, I've been to many times because I did all the tourist attractions already. And then every time I go back, I try to add something. So I want to test out the food. I want to test out the tourist attractions. I want to test out some neighborhoods. Um, yeah, and I want to sample some women if I can. You know, if I can. Yeah, 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 boy. If I could get some cutty while I'm there, I'm going to get some cutty. I'm a sample of women too, you know, that's part of my experience. And um, we're going to move on, but this is a segue. So you dudes be on Tinder, right? The problem is y'all be on Tinder and y'all should be on Tinderoni. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I don't mean literally there's another app called Tinderoni. I just mean y'all be on Tinder, but y'all don't be getting no Ronies. How y'all be on Tinder and y'all be picking ugly girls what's wrong with y'all and then you oh don't don't be on tinder in 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 columbia medellin stay off of tinder <sighs> negro please y'all on tinder but y'all don't know how to pick on tinder so i'm going to do a training class on how to pick on tinder never getting scooped anyway then y'all got the nerve to get scoped a mean by an ugly chick at least if you're going to get scoped, get scoped by a baddie. What's wrong with y'all? Well, anyway, I digress. So, I meet this girl. Not on Tinder. I meet her on Instagram. And I asked her later on, why, you know, she said, Instagram uh, recommended you as a friend. So, I see a, she's a very attractive girl. And this is from Brazil. Y'all know, like, Brazil is like, Thailand, I mean, excuse me, Colombia, Brazil, Brazil. I'll tell you one thing. When y'all want to say differences, which one is better? I think the quality of women in Brazil is much better than the quality of women in Colombia. Now, I'm not talking about beauty per se. They both have beautiful women and Brazil got 10 times more women to choose from. But the quality of personalities and the authenticity, the women in Brazil are way more authentic than the women in Colombia, in my opinion. Uh, women in Brazil will mess with you or have interest in you off of pure attraction or interest or whatever. There's not a dollar sign connected to everything. In Colombia, it's more a tradition of, I'm beautiful, what are you gonna do for me? And when I'm, when I'm not talking about working girls. I, I, even if, I'm, you, I met, I've met a pretty girl that works in a restaurant. It didn't even matter if she's pretty now. I've met a woman that worked in a restaurant. I met a woman that may be a bartender that's a, a, a hostess of a restaurant. They all come with the same joint, like, um. Are you going to pay for my babysitter? Um, are you going to bring me a gift? Colombian women is about that bread, not about that bag. Or they're about, what are you going to do for me? Because I'm pretty. And that doesn't matter if they're 
working or not. Brazilian women are way more authentic than that. Now, I'm not saying there are no Brazilian women that might behave that way, but in general, they're way more authentic than women in Colombia. And I know I'm all over the place, so let's get to the point. Meet the girl on, on Instagram, and she she just seems, you know, you you know when you text back and forth a few times. You know, we talked on Tinder for a while. Then I said, hey, you have a WhatsApp? And she gave me her WhatsApp. We talk, And she speaks English, too. So she starts talking to me eventually through the voice app. But we're a few questions in. And she says, can I ask you a question? Dun, 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 dun. You know, when somebody asks you, can they ask you a question? To me, it's always like a, like me, I never say, can I ask you a question? I might say, would you be willing to answer a question for me? I don't know. It just sounds because to me, it's like no one should have to ask. Can I ask you a question? I, maybe that's how they learn to be polite. Anyway, so I say, sure. But it always winds something up in the back of your head, like depending on what you want to know. So I say, sure. And she texts, are you one of those passport bros? I'm I'm dying inside in the beginning. And um, I'm thinking of the uh, Ice Cube. Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think of you. When he had that beef with MW, here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Right? And what are the words? I told you that was going to happen. So anyway, I say no. I say, I've been traveling too long to consider myself a passport, bro. I, I've been traveling before they even started that movement. And something else I said. And then I said, I don't agree with the ideology or something like that. I don't know if I, what I said, what, what is your interpretation of the passport bros? And she said, well, they travel to other countries for two. They travel to third world countries looking for traditional women. So she had it, one of y'all lines down packed. I can't verbatim because I, I'm filming with this, this, the phone that, the text, the texts are on, right? So I say, well, it's my belief that women are more similar than different, um, and they're good and bad women everywhere. No, I said I don't believe any any one group is better than the other, and I believe women are more similar than different. And I think there's good and bad people everywhere. And she was like, okay, good. Because she's like, those passport bros, I think they're, she said something derogatory, like idiots or something like that. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, am I going to have to deal with this now? Am I going to have to deal with the stereotype of people thinking that black men or men that travel, they are passport brothers. So y'all out there, far as, it's on both sides now. Women know what it is. And some women don't like it. And then I'm like, damn, am I going to have to defend myself against this? No knock on the brothers who rock with the name, who rock with the movement. No knock on you guys. But I just want to let y'all know that there are women out there now on the other side. That they ain't feeling that passport bro movement. The same women that... Y'all saying are uh, the ones y'all looking for. And Brazil is one of the hot spots. Traditional this and that. So, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> we moved on. We talked. We kicked it. Seems like a, 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 a cool chick. And I'm going to Brazil soon. So, I'm going to meet her and hang out with her and see how it goes. But, um, I thought that was very interesting that she, she, she hit me up and said, are you a passport bro? And I think someone else might have mentioned this on their their channels if that they got asked that same question, but I ain't feeling that. And like I said, you're going to get dumped, jumped into one group running with that name, that title. I mean, it's all over the internet. They're writing articles about it. I met a brother in, in Medellin said he got a, a he got a pop passport bro podcast or something so it's everybody's running with the name everybody's trying to uh, what this monetize on it 
But hey, all good. I stand strong, stand firm, international zoe. <laughs> I might just, the solo traveler, international zoe. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, uh, what's the brother name? ORD, solo traveler, ORD, peace. Just having fun, but um, yeah. Story to tell, volume one. <laughs> peace.